All right, Night of Apollo, what's up guys? Hope you're doing well and thank you so much for stopping by. Today we've got a new and exciting video. We're playing a brand new 4X game. It's called Millennia and it's made by Paradox. In fact, this video is sponsored by Paradox. I want to give them a huge, huge thank you for supporting my channel and sponsoring today's video and making it possible so I can do this for a living. So again, a big thank you to Paradox. And I'm really excited to play this game. So if you've just now heard of the game, good news. You don't have to wait very long. Uh, it's coming out in a few days. So March 26th is when the game officially releases. Uh, so you guys can pre-order it right now. There's a link down in the video description. Use that link, guys, and get the game uh, because this one looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. And that's what you're going to see in today's gameplay. We're going to play for about 40, 45 minutes, something like that. Just showing you the start of a new game, the basics of the game. Now, I'm no 4X expert, okay? Whenever I play 4X games, I kind of role play a little too much. I know with these types of games, it's all about min-maxing and making the most out of your resources and situations, and sometimes I get lost into LARPing as a Roman or whatever, uh, but yeah, so I'm going to do my best. I've played a little bit of the game, and uh, I... I think I know the basics, but we're going to kind of explore the game together. It's going to be a lot of fun, so let's stop talking, all right? So, again, check the link out, get the game, and let's get started with Millennia. Let's get started with a new game. So, we're going to do a quick start, and we're going to just play... I'm actually going to do one... We're going to do Apprentice. It's not quite super beginner, but it's fairly beginner. And here's all the factions you can play as as of now. So we got the Aztecs, Brazil, China, Egypt, France, Germany, Greece, India, Japan, the Ottoman Empire, Persia, Rome, Russia, Spain, Sweden, the United Kingdom, the United States of America, and Zulu tribe, which is pretty cool. I think I'm going to go as Greece, um, and I'm going to go super hard on the military. All right, I'm going to kill everything in my way. That is my plan for this playthrough. All right, here we go. We got our first little city here, Athens, which is funny. We're going kind of with the militaristic. Maybe it would be better to call it Sparta, but we'll stick with Athens. I love Athens. So uh, your your first city, your starting city is, is placed randomly. So sometimes you get better locations than other times. This one is okay. Uh, we do have some hunting resources nearby. We've got some fertile ground. It looks like this is a little hill here that is good for production so this is not terrible but I, I wouldn't say it's like the greatest starting location uh so a couple things we got to keep keep lookout for research now research is pretty straightforward it's researching technology uh and the way to improve your research is to acquire knowledge so and you want to build things that will improve your knowledge and, and everything like that and then you have culture now culture is pretty cool because You'll build specific things that will improve your cultural overall. And then what happens is once your culture gains points, you unlock powerful abilities. And you'll see that later on in the gameplay. Uh, now, right now, our government is tribal. Uh, we are in the Stone Age, and it's time to explore. Now, it doesn't matter what 4X game you play. Searching and exploring is vitally important because you can discover other factions, strategic land to build future cities and also uh you can discover like little villages that can give you bonuses so there's a lot of little things that can help you out also discover barbarians for you to fight and kill uh, and get bonuses that way so we're gonna go ahead and just go north and south here and start exploring uh well, let's go ahead and choose our technology now this is kind of the most unique thing i believe in millennia is the the ages so right now we have Stone Age and then the next one is going to be Bronze Age. But after the Bronze Age, you can start to select different types of ages based upon your build of your empire uh, or your civilization. So you'll see more of that towards the end of the video. But for now, we have to learn three technologies to unlock the Bronze Age. And of course, you could learn all the technologies, but at the same time... You need to select what you think is, is best and try to get to the Bronze Age as quick as possible to really get the more advanced technology. 
Now we are going with, uh, we're going with militaristic um, type of build. So I think farming is good just because we need a good foundation of food to feed our soldiers and our civilians. We do have tribal leaders here. This will unlock council and it, it costs, a, let's see, it costs 11 research. So we got defense. Defense is probably going to be a very important one just because we're going to be, um, it's a militaristic advancement, you know, improves our defensive capabilities. And then we also have a scouting one, which honestly could be pretty good with the militaristic um, point of view of like, you know, going in with the military. Let's just go with farming for now and we'll move on. And then we can pick a production for Athens. We're going to go ahead and choose what we want. I'm just going to go ahead and get a scout cav. Again, scouting is so vitally important. And we're going to go ahead and end the turn. Now, I'm going to try to go through these, these turns fairly quickly. So 9750 BC. Very cool. It's very early in, in man's history here. And we're going to just try to look for other fertile places, bonuses, all that jazz. And just see who's around us. We do have some snow in the south here. And yeah, we're going to go pretty quick. Because like I said, I want to try to cover as much as the, uh, of the game as I can in, in one video. Now, we do have like a little city-state here that we can we we can either destroy them. I think we should just destroy them. That would be pretty fun. I think I think we should go down that route. I think we should. Again, I'm going like crazy sicko military mind, like like a militaristic society. Uh, I do think oh, we do have some barbarians down here. Interesting. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to fall back, actually. I'm going to fall back, and let's go scout out this little village here and see what we got going on. And let's take these warriors and move them up. I'm going to link them up with these warriors, and we're going to see possibly if we could attack these guys. And they might be a little too strong. It, it is very early in the game. So we do have culture, a culture of power already ready. Um, so we got local reforms. Which I believe, I believe local reforms, let's see, boost regional efficiency, all resources generated in a region for five turns. That's pretty good. But if you create a town, see, town increase the region's levels, generates wealth per uh, adjacent improvement, generate influence to spend expansion in nearby territories. So influence is, um, is how you expand your um your territory so we're gonna go ahead and do create town so this is just gonna be a little town that connects to the main city and we want to put this somewhere outside you can put it inside but you want to try to expand your borders right so we're gonna try to put it kind of on the out here i mean i guess we could put it near this water or something i mean we got some um eh, we'll just put it there there we go so just like that we're expanding some territory. Nice. Let's go ahead and end the turn. And we're going to keep exploring around this city-state. And I'm going to do the same thing here. Let's go ahead and take these guys here. Hope we can find something here soon. Hopefully we get our scout. There we go. Oh, what the heck? All right. So our tribal... So this is our government. And we get, like, government points. And we can spend those points on different traits. We got one that says raise tribal army. So spawn a war band in your selected capital vassal or outpost. I'm definitely going to do that. So let's do that. And I want to hopefully, I guess next turn they might spawn. Uh, we should probably link up here. And fight. So here we go. Oh, we're Okay, we're out of turn moves here. We're just going to chill here for a second. They might just back away. Yeah. Look at them. They're raiding in my territory. Those bastards. I don't know. Maybe I should. Okay. There we go. I don't want to fight. I don't want to fight. So there's the uh, the little city state. We might want to focus on these barbarians because they're already pushing my territory. So. All right. So now that we got the scout complete. We got a couple different options here. We can build a war ban, which is going to be another military unit. I don't know if we necessarily need that right now. We could build some walls. We can build a town center. So the town center will improve government XP. This will improve influence. So um, 
One time border expansion, 100 influence. That's actually pretty good. You know what? It's going to take 16 turns to build, though. Let's just do it. Let's expand our influence. Again, I don't know if this is the smartest thing to do, but I'm going to do my best. All right, unrest. Unrest is growing in one of your regions. Larger regions, the higher populations will cause unrest. Uh, they're on. They're they're upset because they're. I think they're getting attacked. I assume. Yeah. So where did they? Where did the bandits go? I don't know. I I think they just ran off. So we're just gonna chill here for a little bit. Maybe that will help with the unrest. And let's just keep exploring around here and hopefully find something good. We have unlocked farming, which is good. And let's go ahead and get... Uh, let's go ahead and get defenses. Let's end the turn. All right, I'm thinking the barbarians... See, unrest. The easiest way to deal with unrest is to leave a few military units in... A, a restless capital city and maintain order. Guard units are especially good for suppressing regional un Okay. Okay, sounds good. Well, let's just put them on guard duty. Right? So, they're on guard. Let's just wait until we're no longer, you know, unresting. <laughs> no longer upset. Oh, here we go. Here's one of these bonus villages. Nice. Definitely need that. Oh! Oh! Look at us expand. All right, let's um let's get some food. So we can build a hunting camp here. It's going to cost 6 um um 6 um improvement points. There we go. Draw uh, I had a brain fart there. I was like, what is it called again? Improvement points. So hopefully that's going to help bring in some more food. And we don't have enough improvement points to build more, so we're just gonna we're just gonna do that for now. All right, and let's keep exploring. Oh wait, wait, wait! I'm a dummy. I didn't vid. I need to vid. I gotta visit the village first. My bad, guys. My bad. All right, seven seven five zero BC. All right, cool. So what what is the City militia negative ninety two point five. All right, raise tribal army. Nice. We have a huge force here. We should just roll out. I I, I think I think they're gonna be fine. I don't think they're gonna be too upset. But we need to find the barbarians here in the south and see where they came from. Uh, let's go ahead and use local reforms. So we have more cultural points that we can use. There we go. We're going to put that on Athens. Help our resources there a little bit. And next turn, we'll visit this little village and get a bonus. I feel like this is a dead end here. So maybe the bandits are over here. We saw bandits down in the south over here. You know what? I'm going up north. We're gonna go. We're gonna go crush this little city state. Let's see how challenging it is. All right. So the village is built near a large stone monolith. The etchings and carving tell complex stories in unknown language. So we get plus five culture, or let's do research. We want to try to speed up that research, and yeah, it looks like it's gonna speed it up pretty quick. Yeah, we can choose a new. Yes. Um, let's get, let's see, we could do scouting or tribal. Let's do scouting. I feel like, I feel like with our militaristic culture, we want to, I think scouting is the way to go. Okay. And, oh, we get some archers. Oh, that's right. Okay, cool. So let's link them up here. So we're going to have two armies here. It's actually going to be pretty cool. Oh man, we're growing. We are growing. You've met another nation. Sweden. Greetings to you. Greetings to you. Can you do, let's see. What can you do to foster peace between our nations? Uh, nothing. Cause I'm not <laughs> peace. What? What is peace? I don't understand. What does that mean? What does that mean? All right. So we're going to keep moving up. Uh, this is probably counterproductive. We should be, like, exploring and stuff. But 
That's okay. I, 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 you know, I've actually never, oh, come on, with the barbarians, nice, we got a, uh, scout that spawned, um, because of our research, let's go ahead and do plus one, plus one food with our government upgrade, well, let's go turn and deal with these guys, so here's what battles look like, we got a fun little video here of the, the fight unraveling, but you can see that we're like heavily outnumbering them. And yeah, come on. Let's let's finish these guys like once and for all. There we go. Oh, they still okay. There we go. We wiped them. We wiped them. Cool. So the people got to be happy about that. Um let's continue our mission up north eventually. Eventually. Uh we'll go ahead and put these guys in guard mode. We got a scout, thank goodness, because we honestly need a scout. It looks like we got some good stuff over here. A lot of good fishing. Yep. You link up with them. Let's choose a new technology. And we're going to go ahead and go into the Bronze Age. It's going to take us eight turns, which is fairly long. Usually, I can get that in six turns. But, yeah, so we're, we're moving on up. Oh, there's another town over here. Nice. That's going to that's gonna be good. All right. So we link these guys up. This army. Let's get moving. Nice. We're about to attack. All right. So we found a very small camp of nomads. They explain their leader is very wise and willing to share her knowledge with you. Okay. Uh, let's do warfare XP. Thank you for the sweet, juicy knowledge. All right, we're closing in, guys. We're about to attack a random city-state. Oh, let's raise another army. Yes. All right, did we... I guess next turn they'll come in? Or did we, did we screw that up? We might have just screwed that up. Okay, it's all right. Let's keep scouting. We're closing in. Culture raise army. So there we go. There's the raise army. Let's send another army. Like, let's just go all in, man. Look at us go. Military. So this one has archers and um, some infantry. So we're going to put them in guard mode right there and you guys move up and you guys keep scouting. Who's this? Oh, there's Sweden. So there's Sweden city and we can go ahead and build more. Um, let's go ahead and build because we improved our influence, which is nice. A lookout. So lookout will improve it. Uh, exploration, exploration XP. Um, I think it will improve our vision as well. Let's do a town center. I feel like we just need a good good old town center. Uh, we also can unlock, let's see, community projects plus one improvement points. Yeah, let's do that. That's actually pretty good because, um, oh yeah, look at, we got Turkey here. They're moving up to the Bronze Age pretty quick, but so are we, so are we. Um, we can go ahead and build more food. All right, we should have enough. Yeah, we do. Let's build another hunting ground. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, so we're moving these guys up. We're going in. We are about to fight. Okay, Sweden. Let this be a warning to you. Yes. Oh, no! They've got a lot. It's alright. We have multiple armies. So we gotta destroy their defenses. And then we have to take care of their infantry. Man, this is a... Uh, we'll go ahead and fast forward this. Yeah, that was a uh, costly battle. But that's okay. We got more armies where that came from. And we'll go ahead and just speed this up. So yeah, you can speed it up, guys. So we're pretty close to destroying their walls. 
And we're doing some damage to their soldiers. Dang. Versus. Okay. All right. Let's keep scouting. Then the turn. Yeah, get out of the way, Sweden. That's not good. All right, let's go ahead and attack with some fresh units. We need to just bring down the walls. If we can bring down the walls, these units over here will not be as defended. Yeah, there we go. Now we can focus on the infantry. Heck yeah. This city state will be ours. All right, we'll fast forward here, guys. All right, let's attack with our main army. Oh, he's dead. Oh, no, he's not. Oh, nice. They're down to two units. All right, we'll go ahead and fast forward. It's definitely been a costly battle, but we should come out on top, especially with these archers. Ooh. Yes! Yes! It is ours! Um, so, compel the survivors to migrate to your capital, pillaging what they leave behind. Gain plus two population in Athens. We get plus 100 wealth, plus 10 chaos. Or we can allow the people, people to become part of Greece. A minor nation becomes a vassal terror. Let's make them a vassal. Yes. That's cool, man. That's pretty cool. That is very cool. All right. We got, we got two cities now. Through military might. Might is right. All right. Cool. So... Now, we can combine some units, right? So, if we can, we don't want to destroy. Yeah, actually, actually, actually never split up an army. Well, we're just going to leave it for now. Our warfare has gone up. We've got volunteers. So we can spawn some volunteers. I'm going to go ahead and spawn them here. Which is going to put this army back to full strength. Um, let's go ahead and just chillax. I'm going to tell these guys to guard. We're just going to tell everyone to just chill for a turn. Right? Let's end the turn here. We can keep scouting. Actually, let's move the scouts this way and see if we can discover the bandits base. Because that would be pretty cool. Oh, really now? Really? Okay. You want to get destroyed? We can... Yeah. Yeah. Get destroyed. Nice. I think we got someone that... Um... Oh, yeah. They're, they're just showing what happened. It's cool. We know what happened. So... We can now... I think we can just go ahead and... Mm, yeah, we can just combine. There we go. And you keep searching. There's got to be a bandit base somewhere nearby. And we'll tell you guys to chillax. Guard mode, guard mode. No need to mobilize just yet. Let's let them rest up a little bit, you know? Oh, here we go! Bronze Age, baby! Nice. Oh, wait. The Ottoman Empire went Bronze Age. Curses. All right. They beat us to it. But we're only one turn away. So they beat us by one turn. Ah, oh, dang it. I would like to get to the Bronze Age, but... Oh, here we go. Nice. Uh, Spawn archers or get Warfare XP? Let's get Warfare XP. Nice. We are a warrior. Warrior nation. I might go for Sweden soon. I mean, they're just sitting there looking pretty. You know, they do have a big army over here. All right. Age of bronze. You entered a new age. All right. So 
Oh. We're seeing a lot of bandits over here. But do we do anything about it? We'll find out. All right, let's choose a new technology. Belief, community. Oh, definitely discipline. That's going to improve our military tenfold. And look at this. We've got the different ages you can go into. You have Age of Iron, so just by getting three technologies. You can get Age of Heroes by discovering landmarks. Or you can get Age of Blood, which is kind of what we want to do. Units from other nations slain. So this is, this is a good time to go to war with Sweden. In my opinion. So I think we should... We should probably see... Choose spirit warriors. Absolutely. We are warriors. Nice. Select. And let's see. Spawn Spartans. Spawn two Spartan units in a friendly territory. Or Spartans have to, uh, no upkeep cost per turn. These are both pretty good. Let's spawn Spartan units though. I might just put them as defensive. Hmm. What to do? No, we should mobilize the Spartans. I mean, come on. You're going to attack without Spartans? Let's go ahead and move them up here. Let's see what we can do there. Okay, let's let's go attack Sweden. Yeah, let's let's attack Sweden. We gotta be careful. You know what? We need to get some archers here. So once we're done, what are we building? We're building. Oh yeah, the town center. Once we once we've built the town center, we should probably spawn some some uh, some archers for defensive purposes. Nice, these guys are back to full health by just chilling in the uh, friendly territory. We got our Spartan units, which I would love to accompany them with some archers. Um, we could raise another tribal army. I say, yeah, let's do it. <laughs> they can they can roll with the Spartans. All right, uh, I think everybody's good. Oh, wait, let's get our scout out of here. We'll deal with the uh, these guys later. Let's just get our scout out of there. And you guys, I guess, just move down here and link up with the Spartans. Because we go to war! Uh-oh. I think my scout just got cornered there. There we go. Who are these people? Settler. Oh. I would love to be able to steal their settler. <laughs> uh, crap. All right. No, 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 no. We don't need to see this. We need to just get out of here. Here, you defend this city. How about that, scout? All right. Let's mobilize. Mm, this is looking like an awfully good city. Wouldn't mind if I take it for myself. All right, move Spartans. Uh, let's go to... Hold on, we got a Warriors. Let's go ahead and... Yeah, Spartans have no upkeep cost per turn. Yeah, let's get that. That's going to help our wealth there a bit. Um, Let's go to our Diplomacy. I want to go ahead and... um. Yeah, so let's go to our diplomacy and we're going to declare war. Yes, message sent. Your power, 185. Nice. Um, theirs is 163, so we are stronger than them. So now we can... Oh, can we not? Oh, did we not send it? Maybe we have to wait one turn to, to go into their territory. Or maybe... Maybe... Maybe not. Alright, we'll scout around a little bit. We got some clay over here. That's good for production. Alright, let's go... Let's go rest you into the city. All right, Sweden, you've been warmed. But how do we... We can't attack? 
Huh, maybe we didn't like declare war. We just said, hey, we're hostile, I guess. We're like, hey, we're we're hot and bothered. I don't know. Uh, we can do something in three turns. So in the meantime, I guess we'll just mobilize the army and get them ready. So we'll just put them on guard mode right at their border. Uh, we do have a culture. Oh, we can spawn more Spartans. Let's do that. Oh, it's like a whole army. Oh my God, we're so ready. And they get free upkeep. Nice. Uh, some barbarians are attacking Athens, which is annoying. This is, like I said, we've got it. We've got a defense. These guys stand no chance. It's just annoying. It's just annoying. All right. So we got two more turns until we can declare war on them. In the meantime, you guys just chill. You guys chill. All right. So, Athens, we can build something. We can build city guard. Let's build um, maybe some walls. Just just because we don't really have anything defending over there, we might want to build some defenses on our cities, you know? Okay. So, can we... Okay, one more turn. One more turn, and then I guess we can declare war. Uh, they built a city in between us. Like, that's a, that's enough for war anyways. You know what I mean? Uh, we should have built some archers here. What am I doing? Let's cancel this. Build archers. Yeah. We need we need a proper unit to defend. We got to be careful, though. We don't want too many units. It's going to be costing a lot. All right. Declare war. Yes. Look at Look at it. I'm just chaos. Just chaos. That's how they see me is pure chaos. All right. Now we can move in. Let's move everybody in into battle position. All right. Let's attack. All right. We can't yet. You can attack. What do they got? What do they got? Oh, that's it. They got one unit. Oh my gosh. Guys, I think uh, I think it's safe to say that this is a bit overkill. Go Spartans, go! Now we are playing on an easier game mode, so. All right, town destroyed, surrounding region control removed. Oh, that wasn't the town. My bad. That was just like a a city, a little city. This is okay. That that makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. Okay. Well, in the turn, we got two cities we got to take out. You met another... Okay. Hello, Ottomans. We also met the Persians. Interesting. Where did we meet them? All right. Let's close you in. Let's get you guys there. Get you guys there. Actually, we might move you up on this hill, but can anyone attack? I don't think so. But we're moving in. And we're still building archers. We got four more turns until we can build archers. All right. Let's move you here. You guys got to go all the way around. And let's begin bombarding the city. Now, this is... Yeah, this is going to be much more challenging compared to the little outpost. But I still think this will be overkill. Considering, like, how many troops we have. But, yeah. Alright, so let's just fast forward here. Cool. We're gonna, we're gonna take losses here. But let's see the Spartans in action here. Well, we've seen them in action, but... Oh, yeah, they destroyed the walls. Nice job. Good job, Spartans. Can you guys attack? No. Oh, Sweden. Sweet, sweet Sweden. Oh, you guys broke? That's right. This is my epic army right here. Attack! They have no walls! They will face the Spartan might with no protection. All right. We're killing these guys. Nice. That's a unit gone. That's a, that's a leader unit. Oh, he's almost gone. Nice. Good job, scout. I love how I got my scout in there. 
It'd probably be good. You know, a good army combination would be two Spartans and one archer. Okay. They're on the verge of defeat. Let's bring it to them. This will be it. Yeah, this is it. Dead. City's ours, Sweden. So, three population killed. 50% wealth looted from it. 65 wealth located. Looted from the region. Size is 20 chaos gain. Oh, he's been eliminated. Okay, so even though he had the city over here, now it's just like a neutral city. Interesting. Oh, and this is my city now. Ha <laughs> ha. It's great to be, uh, you know, just focused on war. Well, let's give, uh, let's give the armies an opportunity to heal. So let's just rest you guys up, even though you ran away like a bunch of cowards. Um, there's gotta be a way. I'm still, I don't know. I'm just gonna destroy that unit of scouts. I don't know how to get rid of them from the army. Anyways, we're gonna link up all the Spartans. And you guys can uh, ch rest here too. I'm gonna end the turn. So their population is at two now. We should take this city over next. That's where my next army is gonna go. Oh yeah, we need to build some resources here. So housing is good. Food is pretty good. What can we build? Um, fishing boats? No, we can't build fishing. We could build a farm over here. Yeah, let's build, um, see what, what's the difference? Plantation provides rice, wealth, two food. This provides three food. We don't really need the food. We'll go with the less food and more wealth. Yeah, I, I completely forgot about these improvements. Let's see. What can we build? So a dwelling again? We don't really need that. Um, Forester. We don't really can build that hunting camp. We got, I think we're good there. What about, um, what about over here? This is... I don't think we can control that city. It's just like a vassal, so... We definitely can build some hunting camps here. We already have a farm here. Forest... I mean, there's already a ton of stuff here. Alright, well... This army's healed up. We're gonna move them to our next victim here. Um... Let's keep going. Oh, yeah. Oh. The Blood Age. Didn't we kill a bunch of units? I want to get into that Blood Age crisis. Warfare. Reinforcements. Force March. Do reinforcements. And we can... To use power. I guess that's... Yeah. Oh, cool. So that, like, healed them up instantly. Oh, and this one can level up. Nice! And again. Oh, dude. Look at these. Oh, that's cool. Level up, baby. All right, you guys just defend the city. Choose technology. All right, cool. So we... I thought we killed units from other nations slain. Two out of six. Hmm, I thought we killed more than two, but... Let's see, what else can we get? Mining, shipbuilding... Uh, officials, community. Let's do belief. Let's get some religious belief in here, you know? And what else can we build? We can build chariots. Oh, I see. We got some spearmen. Um, let's build an encampment. So we can get some nice units. Nice. Nice. Okay, cool. Um... If we attack here, I don't think they count as enemy units. I think it has to be other official factions. Uh, I guess we'll keep scouting over here. There's a little village. Yeah, undiscovered. Nice. Ooh, we're doing pretty good, guys. We got three cities uh, conquered. You know? I didn't. I didn't build those. I conquered them. Um, it's definitely, I, 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 I think we're, oh, were we under attack? That's annoying. Um, here, let's kill some barbarians. 
Look at that. We even got information here. Cool. Yeah, they got wrecked. They got wrecked. And we can go kill these guys too. Oh, you're so wrecked. You're so wrecked. Gets my elite spears. All right, so we dealt with that. See, who else needs to move? Oh, yeah, let's go. Uh, plus innovation or knowledge? Let's go with knowledge. So we can hurry up and do more research. And then we'll keep exploring here. We can choose a, a new technology. Uh, let's do community. It might help us make some better... Uh, you know, make some more more wealth, it looks like. All right, let's end the turn, and let's go take out this city. I might just destroy this city. Yeah. What'd you expect? We're at war. Um. Okay. Let's go explore down here. We need to go find where Persia is and stuff, so we can go attack them. We're just going full attack mode here. Uh, Eureka! Or we can raise an army or spawn Spartans or absorb outposts. We don't have any outposts, do we? I don't think so. A Eureka moment. Let's see. Immediately gain knowledge, advancing the current. Yeah, let's just do that. There we go. Boom. We just... We just leveled up. Now, we could go straight into the Iron Age, Iron Age or we can keep slaying enemy nation units. Now, we got... Two out of six, which is not a lot, but if we can, I don't know, maybe if, let's see if this counts. If this counts, I'm just going to, hmm, I guess we'll just go for the Iron Age. I don't know, maybe, maybe we can change it later. All right, go attack. Attack. Let's see how strong they are. Okay, they're pretty strong. Nice. We've nearly destroyed the walls. The Spartans should clean it up. Oh, yeah, the walls have been destroyed. Oh, my gosh, the Spartans. Prisoners of war. See, compel the survivors to migrate to your capital, pillaging. Yeah, let's do this. Cause we don't. I don't really want this city. It's kind of not in a great area, and it's right next to my capital. Oh, dude. Look at Athens grow. Nice. Um, sweet, sweet. Um, there's a lot of territory that we need to explore. Mm hmm. Let's keep exploring. I guess I'll move this army over here and this army up north so they can heal up in some friendly territory. Propose open borders. Reject. Absolutely not. Where is this guy? Is he south of me? Why is he demanding open borders? I assume he's trying to get through somewhere. Pff, open borders. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Do you not realize? Oh, that's it. You, you're asking too much. You're asking too much. Now, I really do want to find where these other factions are so we can kill them. Because that did not... Destroying that city did not go towards our uh, blood age. So... Hmm. Oh, we can level these guys up. Nice. Cool. Hmm. All right. Anybody? Ooh. We got some leaders here. Nice. Oh, we can have a leader. That means we can have four units in this grouping. Cool. Very, very, very cool. Uh, We can build some structures here. Um, but we have nothing to build. Oh, we need housing here. Okay, so we do have something to build. Let's build some dwellings. So that helps with the housing. 
Because we had a huge surplus in population. And... Eh, let's just keep moving. Hopefully we can find another civilization. Um, we'll head this way with this army. Yeah, you gotta go that way. Oh, look at his grow, dude. Look at Athens just grow like madmen. Chaos Rebellion, the vassal of the nation. Wow. Rebelled against their rulers. I accept. Haha. -ha. Cool. Something for me to kill. Alright. They're pretty strong. Holy crap. They're pretty, pretty strong. Alright. Oh, wow. There's rebels everywhere. We need... Okay, these guys... Okay. Oof. Oof. They're mad. Alright, so we got a couple things. Uh, spawn Settler. That's good. We could do Force March. Let's do Force March. And you guys get up here. Maybe we should have used it on these guys to get them to safety. There we go. There we go. There we go. Alright, let's end the turn. Let's see what these rebels do here. Yeah, they're, they're going to attack. That's not good. All right, we're coming. Look at my giant leader here. Cool. Uh, bloody battle. Very bloody battle, but let's let the Spartans clean it up. And that they will certainly do. God, these Spartans are epic. All right, we cleared this out, but we got to keep moving because we got the rebellion going on over on this side. I wonder if there's a way. Can I can I get inside the city? I can't just yet. But we need to mobilize. You guys can rest because you're pretty depleted. Alright, we gotta hurry up here. I think we just gotta attack. Even though they're a bit stronger of uh, than us. We gotta soften their numbers. Ooh, nearly killed my spearman. Alright, you guys are healing. Yeah, we've got a lot of improvement. Wow, we can build so much now. Wow, wow, we wow. Wow, wow, we wow. See, improve uh, improvement points. Let's see, converts two wheat or rice. To flour. Um, we are growing wheat though, right? So yeah, mill would actually make sense. We'll build it next to our um our farm here. That's pretty good. We could raise a tribal army. We could do reinforcements. Let's do reinforcements. Uh, I'll do it on you guys. And we can move you out. Not that we really need them up there. Not that we really need them. Oh, did they take it? Oh, you dog. How dare you? No. Dang it, dude. I should have attacked sooner. You guys go up north. Absolutely not. So... So what, this is interesting. I've never seen this before. So I'm curious, like what's going to happen next? Revolutionary Greece, a warning. Your forces are too. <laughs> what am I supposed to respect your nation? You think, you think I see you as a nation? Look at this. Disclare, declare hostiles. Nice. Well, at least they act as a nation. So that when we kill them, it should go towards the Blood Age. All right, you guys heal up in guard mode. Oh, we're moving in in three turns. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this is not going to be a thing. Not going to be a thing. Got barbarians in the south, which is fairly frustrating. 
Um, let's see. What else? Let's see. Let's see. What else can we build here? Um, do we have... We got the wheat, right? We're producing wheat. Oh, no, that's rice. But that's okay. They turn The mill turns rice into... My bad. I thought that was wheat. Um, let's see. What does a press do? For olives. We don't have olives. I wish we did. That, I love olives. What about a saw pit? We don't really have any... So I don't think any of this really helps us here. Can't really build a dock. We got to expand our borders over there. This, this is not a great city location spot. Um. Yeah. Okay. That's all we can do. Oh, wait. Government. We can raise a tribal army. Why not? Why not? Uh, we can upgrade them. And we'll send them to... Who's the one that has the general? Oh, uh, we can send them here? Or here? Both of them... Let's just send them with the Spartans to make that army even stronger. You guys, guard mode. Uh, guard mode. We have to wait. We have to wait. Alright, this is... This is pretty good. I, I, I like the... I You know, I've every time I've played this game... I never went down the military route, and it's been pretty fun. And this is why this episode's going to be a little longer than I expected. Um, we could spawn some Spartans. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, jeez. Um, yeah, let's get going. Okay, just wait. I think... This turn, we can declare war? Yeah. Pretty sure. Let's see. Yeah, declare war. Bastards. Move, move, move! Mobilize. Okay, we, we, we can attack next turn. We have you surrounded, good sir. They're going to have a pretty strong force here, if I'm not mistaken. Actually, go kill the scout. Because why not? Wow, they Well... They, they broke. That's fine. Let's move you up here. Because you need to make way for them. Alright, attack! Oh, yeah. Wow. This army's strong, dude. My Spartan army is strong. Alright, let's end the turn. We need to kill that scout unit, though. Oh, the, you... Oh! We're into the next stage! Greece! Is into the Iron Age. Nice. Enter the Age of Iron. This age will be able to adopt a new government. Hell yeah. Let's go. Alright, government. Warfare. Reinforcements. Uh, I guess we'll use it on you. Oh. Reinforcements. You. You? No? You can ri raise tribal army. We'll do it there. I guess none of these are low enough to use reinforcements, so never mind. Alright, you guys chase down them. So I guess we I guess we do lose out on that that one with that one age. It's okay. They're broken. Alright, you guys kill the army. They're running for it. Oh, yes. Eliminated. By the Spartan War Machine. Alright, and then you finish this sad little town. Nice. Actually, you guys will finish it. Okay! So that rebellion has been dealt with. 
Okay, so guys, unfortunately, we are out of time. Um, I went a little crazy there with the military. Uh, it was a lot of fun, though, like taking these guys on. But there's a lot of nuance to the game. There's a lot of different ways and paths you can take and everything. Um, so this has been a lot of fun. I really enjoyed this. Just got interesting, too, as we... Um, we, if we look at the research, we're in the Iron Age, so we're entering the, like, medieval era. So, um, got a couple different, look at the different things. So, Age of Kings, I guess, is, like, the real medieval age, where this is kind of, like, late Roman Empire age, I suppose. Um, we got Age of Monuments. We also have Age of Plague. So, that's pretty cool. I don't know, there's a lot of, there's... A lot of different ages to go down. So, it's pretty fun, guys. Uh, don't forget to use the link down in the video description. Another huge thank you to Paradox for um, sponsoring this video. Try it out. Millennia comes out very soon. March 26. Again, use the link in the video description. Get the game and conquer the world with your Spartan army. I appreciate you guys watching. Hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, be sure to leave a like, share, and comment. I, it, it means a lot to me. I do appreciate it, and I'll see you next time on the battlefield.